receiving this message, it means you are an alien. And we want you to visit our planet and experience all the amazing things that we have here. Things like party balls that keep the party going and going. And, uh, reasons to stop sleeping, often served hot. And uh, uh, things that are made from trees that look like things that live in trees. Sound exciting? Well, set your course for the Milky Way galaxy because we want you to visit Earth. On Earth, we have this amazing feeling called winning. It happens whenever we get things that we need. Things like space, fuel, love. We like the feeling so much that we'll even compete for things we don't need. We do it because we love the feeling of winning. We call it sports. 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 A sport is... A thing that's a, like a physical activity. It's something we like so much that we'll go anywhere to see it. Like here, or here, or here. We have sports everywhere on Earth. All thanks to this stuff. Thanks for letting the ball fall into my hand. Gravity. Thanks for keeping this water on Earth gravity. Thanks for helping me land that triple axle. Gravity. The particular quality of gravity that we enjoy here on Earth is what makes it possible to do a lot of the things that, well, probably couldn't happen on another planet, like, I don't know, Mars. True, and none of us have ever really been there, but come on, just look at the place. Do you think you could do something like this there? No way. And it's because their gravity sucks. Our gravity is awesome. So awesome that we use a special language to explain it called physics. It looks like this. Beautiful, right? To be honest, most of us have no idea what this means, but that's okay because we have other ways of appreciating it. You see, a long time ago, when Earthlings came together to celebrate their most beloved invention, a revolutionary device known simply as wheel, they noticed that something interesting happens when you place wheel onto Earth, especially at an angle and with the appropriate amount of energy applied to it. And if you do this, the wheel will move. It's an extraordinary sight to see. Before long, humans began to ask important questions, like, where is wheel going? When they added another wheel, the question becomes, which wheel is going to get there first? Connect those wheels together and suddenly it's, how fast can these wheels go? Connect those wheels to a machine that uses dead lizard juice for fuel and the question becomes, how fast are we allowed to go? To begin to answer these questions, alien viewer, it's important to understand that Earth's greatest invention was not the wheel. Oh no. Earth's greatest invention was ball. And wherever you find ball, you find sport. Hola, I am ball, and these are players. They want to win. To do that, they must create goal. Goal is what happens when I go here, or here. And it all begins with the kicking. Kick, kick, kick. Ball go here, ball go there. I know what they want. They want me to go into goal. But aha, I am ball. I will go into their face. Yeah! It's not that special because a ball, you can't eat it. You can use it for anything that helps you live. You can't sleep on it unless you can use it for your head. Like you can use it as a pillow. Because of gravity, ball goes where ball wants. And it's the job of players to make it go where they want. And for that, they're only allowed to use their feet. And over here, they can only use their hands. But over here, they can use a stick, like this, or this. All of these other earthlings aren't allowed to touch ball at all. Oh no, they're called fans. They use special machines to look or listen. Sometimes from very far away. And they consume a variety of special sport-related fuels that provide just the right amount of energy necessary for keeping track of ball. Each cluster of fans you encounter represents a unique opinion of where ball should go and when. If you want to hang out with them during your next trip to Earth, then all you need to do is agree with them. Oh, and do some of this. We call this chanting. 
It happens when fans combine their energy to create a sort of super being with the power to shake the earth. Then, yeah, talk to balls. And what they have to say is pretty clear. I am coming. I am coming. Here I come. I am coming. I am coming. Oh, wait a minute. There's actually more to sports than just balls and goals. Sports are also about adventure and the desire to explore new places, to step close to the edge of what is possible and go beyond. Not everyone on Earth can win all the time. Come with me, I will show you. <laughs> You see, the thing you need to understand, my alien friend, is that winning and losing are just two sides of the same taco. Look, over there, is my long-haired human friend who likes to play in the water. He has something to tell you about sports on Earth. Competing in a sport takes out the beauty, so i rather just do it as a hobby and for myself than trying to be better than other persons. <laughs> winning all the time with an attitude like that. The real secret of sports on Earth is that at some point you've got to stop being a player and just play. Attitude is everything on Earth. Just ask these humans. They like to play on rocks. Big ones! Losing is important in rock climbing because you learn. <laughs> See? Who would have thought that not winning would be the best way to learn how to win? These humans are so smart, but oh boy, are they also funny. Just look at these ones. They are going nowhere. <laughs> but you know what? They are having fun. And let me tell you this, my alien friend. The real winners on Earth are the ones who have the most fun. Hey, amigos, you think you could give me a lift? There are many different kinds of winning on Earth. Sometimes it's just the simple satisfaction of hitting a fuzzy ball really hard. We call that tennis. Or going to the top of a giant rock covered in frozen H2O and then trying to get to the bottom as fast as possible. We call that skiing. Or it's dancing with another human who has the same taste in silky shorts as you do. Things might get rough, but at the end of the day, everyone is having fun. We call that martial arts. Sometimes, sports can happen when we're not even moving, when our minds are doing all the work. We call it chess. Chess is an ancient form of surrogate warfare that involves two humans, sometimes a human and a machine, competing for dominance over a theoretical world composed entirely of 90 degree angles. For centuries, Earthlings have not been able to decide if chess is a sport or a game. However, they continue to enjoy playing it regardless of who is right. So, I hope you enjoyed that tour, and that you have a better idea of what it means to win on Earth. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to play. Catch you later, alien! Ball is right. This amazing feeling we have on Earth, this winning, it doesn't have to do with how fast our wheels can go. It happens when we find the spirit of sport. The big thing that tells us all that the real reason we're here on this big ball is to play. That's right! Play to win!
Sport is uh, joy. No, sport is justice. Mm. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs>